Good morning, everyone. We are off again. Today I'm going to be taking advantage of this nice warm weather that we have and Yeah, so what I was saying is today I'm going to be taking advantage of this nice warm weather that we've got. It's beautiful out. I've still got to wear the dry suit, mainly because the water is still around 40 degrees. And if you stick your hand in it for about 30 seconds, it's like completely numb. So i got the dry suit on. I'm all prepped up, ready to go, loaded down, bringing the Yeti in case I catch any crappie. That's the plan. Uh, the, the ice should be melted on one of the lakes that I always fish. It's a regular lake for me over at West Point. And uh, I'm hoping to, like I said, catch some crappie. But the way I'm going to do it is as if I was fishing through the ice. I spent a lot of money on my ice fishing gear, and I want to make sure that I get my money's worth out of it. So what I'll be doing is fishing for bass, perch, and crappie from a kayak, but with ice fishing gear. So stay tuned. absolutely stinks uh, with the warm weather I honestly thought that all the ice would have melted I mean you can tell for the most part that it has just a couple more feet and we would have been easy sailing straight out there to the uh, open water let's see how thick this sheet is and if the kayak can break it oh yeah that's just nothing but slush almost it's about an inch thick I don't think I can break that with the kayak though I honestly don't want to chance it with the hull let's see if we can device something to uh, be able to crack that ice as we go take it nice and slow and get out there do some fishing <sighs> okay we are on the ice now it's a matter of Breaking our way through nice and slow till we get to the open water, which isn't too far away. I've got about 40, 40 yards of ice that I'm gonna have to break through. I've already broke through all of this. Now, we've gotta get out towards the deeper part and break through that. It just easy does it, easy does it. I am not using the Pro Angler whatsoever to break through it. I'm using the paddle and, okay, there we go. Now it's time to start breaking. Thank goodness for that big, heavy cast iron pipe. Because I was able to swing that thing and crack this, it's about a four foot wide hole through the ice or a little path through the ice. Open water, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Get right to it let's start trolling let's look for the uh the bass the schools crappie whatever it doesn't matter let's just catch something 
and make sure all that effort that I did punching through the ice was not for nothing. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I missed him. I don't know what it is that's tapping it, but it's just, just barely lightly tapping it. There's a lot of fish down there. He's just tapping it though. He's not actually taking it. Got him, baby. We got him. Finally. Oh, it's a jumbo perch. Look at this fatty. Holy smokes. That is a jumbo perch. I'll show you what he spit up here in a second. Just get this off of him. This guy is going into the fryer tonight. Look what he spit up. Check that out. Jumbo perch. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. Gonna eat me some perch tonight, fellas. The lure that I was using, little Vibrato by For Bill. It's super heavy, so it gets it down there into that 28 feet of water within no time before the wind has a chance to blow me off my waypoint. See if we can catch a couple more to make a nice meal. Woo! That water is freaking cold. I don't know how anybody could survive a fall into that. If you do, good on you because man oh man is that freaking cold. I can barely put my hand in there for about 15 seconds and it's numb. I'm here but I don't see them. There were a lot of fish right here. Finally got one guys, finally. It's gotta be a bass, it feels like a bass. Oh gosh, holy smokes. I'm not gonna let him, I don't have my net out, but this is a huge pickerel. Look at this pickerel. That's a big pickerel. Look at that. That's the biggest pickerel that I've caught out of this lake. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Chill, bro. Chill. Chain pickerel. Let's get the lure out. This guy is ice cold. Come on, give me my lure, bro. Okay, so I got the hook out, but my line is stuck on his teeth. There we go. See how big he is. It's about a 20 inch pickerel. Pretty, pretty decent sized fella. Let's get him back in the water. Guy pooped all over me. Look at that. No respect. Pooped all over my pants. Surprised to see something like that. I honestly thought that was going to be a bass, the way it was uh, pulling. Still fun to catch. It's always fun to catch something. <laughs> Getting wet. That's the last thing I want, is to get wet. They're down there. We'll let that wind blow us right back into, into position on the waypoint. Alright, I'm going backwards now. Here it comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Eventually I'm gonna see the fishies. There they go, right there. Let's just drop. I'm gonna keep my eye on my line rather than, you know, the water and the landmarks. And then I'm gonna try to keep that line straight vertical. Well, that wind's got me going all kinds of crazy. 30 feet of water at the very bottom. I can just keep from being blown all over the place. That's gonna be the key to catching one of these guys down there. 
They're there. I mean, I can see them clear as day. They're down there. Oh, he got off. This is a big one, guys. Well, it's a nice size largemouth. Finally start biting. Fighting the wind, grinding it out, trying to get these guys to bite. He is completely frozen. This is a beautiful largemouth. Thank you for playing, buddy. Get him back in there. <laughs> come back up with an open mouth as if he's saying thank you or hey buddy next time don't do something like that that ain't cool Let's see if we can get him to bite again and the wind has its moments like right now it's nice and calm we can just keep it like this though that's the ticket well this is the spot that's been a fire for me caught my perch caught a pickerel large mouth do a crappie and that's a slam a grand slam for this lake I actually know there's bluegill still. Well, it's about 4.30 now. It's time for me to head in. The sun is going down. As soon as it goes down, it's going to get really cold. Uh, it's a really slow day. Had to grind out three fish. I've been out here for six hours and only three fish to show for. One perch, which I'm going to take home to lay up and make some fish sticks out of it. I caught a huge pickerel, 20 inches. That thing is the biggest one that I've caught out of this lake so far. And then right towards the end, the largemouth bass, I decided to bite. Little fella hit it three times before I actually hook him and brought him up. Hopefully I uh, hit the record button in time. I have a habit of not hitting the record button, just going back to fishing immediately after I release a fish and I'm hoping that I got that footage uh, I do appreciate all the support I want to thank you all for watching if you're not subscribed to the channel please hit the uh, subscribe button I'll be putting new videos up on a weekly uh, yeah I'm tired it's time to get in go get some food and until next time fellas tight lines